Greetings Jedi Traders, David here of TradingFibs.com to bring you the current trend and weekly outlook for week 30 as we roll in to the final week of July. Today, July 24, 2016. Market's set to open up here in a couple of hours. Let's uh, quickly get into some of the numbers from last week and then see where we are here on the key indices Currently, taking a look at the results for the week, week 29 recap, there it was, 12 setups, 384 ticks net, not a bad week, with the numbers broken down by the indices, econ data across the board, being somewhat mixed from mostly housing data, and um, jobless claims, as we'll roll into next week uh, at the end of this outlook, we'll take a look at what is ahead. Chart of the week there on the NQ price action breaking above the T350 on all five charts in the green, higher time frames in the green. That's what we're looking for each day. We don't need to get in and get out, get in and get out. It's about finding that one to two setups that will run away in trend. Make sure you check out that week 29 recap as you can uh, get a summary of each daily trend and stats. And on the weekends, getting into the futures ETF and market cap leaders and including supplemental newsletter that I'll show you here in just a little bit. Again, focusing during the week now, uh, three days a week on the market cap leaders and looking at the FX pairs and the futures, ETF futures, and every day looking at the individual futures themselves. All right, let's jump in where we are currently on the uh, charts. Let's take a look at the SPX current trend right now, still holding in the uptrend here. As we can see, price action T3 moving averages upside above the 50 MA. Again, an indicator. As long as the 50 is above the 144, I have the green background. Price action holding above the T350, again, can be a line of resistance. And the T3 moving averages also to the upside, everything currently in the green. What we'll look for is always intraday setup uh, and then be ready in both directions. But as long as the current trend is all still upside, you got a green candle, uh, still go ahead to the, uh, to the uptrend. Anything looking backside, we'll take a look for price action to pull back to one of these key moving averages in sequential order. We'll also look for open gaps as well in the market. Taking a look at the VIX currently as price action right now holding to the downside. Again, that caution level down there at around 12. Again, bottom range uh, will be all the way down here at 9.3. So anything within this range, you want to watch for that sell signal market. And that's exactly what we got there this week as the VIX uh, got into this range market getting a lift again bigger trend to the downside check out my ETF uh, price action uh, on the uh, uh, ETF for the VIX uh, to the downside uh, being able to trade that as a daily uh, uh, daily chart all right let's take a look at some of the uh, let's go ahead and jump into the three charts here we have the uh, daily, the weekly, and the four-hour chart. So weekly chart here on the right-hand side. We have the daily chart in the middle and four-hour chart. Taking a look at the bigger trends right now as price action uh, holding up here in the green. So let's start out with our dollar. Taking a look at the dollar. Actually, let's take a look. Let's start with the SPX as we just saw the four-hour chart holding upside again in an uptrend both on the daily and the weekly. Nothing to me tells me downtrend yet. Of course, intraday can make that shift. So we'll first look to the four-hour chart for any pullback to the 50 if market is to hold upside. Again, we have no open gaps to the upside on the future, so it's everything to the downside. A little bit concerning there, but hey, trend is trend. If we're going to continue upside, we got a green handle on the go to the upside. All right, taking a look at the dollar. Is price action on the dollar holding up here on the uh, weekly uh, price action? A little bit of resistance there for the last month here at the uh, 50, 50 EMA. Uh, weekly breaking through finally the 144, so that's a good sign, which was the push up on the four hour chart. Couldn't look for a better match. Uh, looking for the breakout, got the early entry on the dollar, and especially if you're trading the ETF on that. Taking a look at gold and silver as price action finally broke through the 
the 200 period moving average still holding on a daily above those key moving averages again you have a pullback here which is giving you an opportunity you can see on the four hour chart seeing that support there on the t350 as well as the 50 the price action is to hold here you'll get the solid body tail up back upside so gold and silver still have getting a lot of support up here in an uptrend taking a look at the etf on the oil as price action has been struggling a little bit uh in this pullback holding around on the futures around the 45 dollars uh here we see uh, the bigger trend to oil has been downtrend for some time but again uh, key significance as uh, the weekly has been pushing above the 200 period uh, the 50 period moving average in a downtrend giving us the red background again daily looking for that support and that's exactly what we're looking for on the futures right now to see uh 4323 perhaps a level of support the most uh, recent swing size uh level but then again uh price action on the daily Finding that support here at the 50 as well as the four hour chart. We'll look for this week to see if we break these lines. We break these lines, we'll continue that weekly trend. Taking a look at the NICE composite again, NICE composite back upside in the green, in the green, so all green upside. Taking a look at the total stock market index, which should be masking the same trend, 50 above 200s on both the daily and the weekly, as well as again, we're watching the candles here. Uh, on the bigger time frames to see if we're stalling and again on the daily a little concerning there a couple indecision bars but again the weekly still pretty strong up here with a couple solid bodies tails up on the hike and ashi bars and then the four hours still holding upside in the green again you'll get the same picture on the vti and the schwab total stock market index Taking a look at the small cap S&P 600 as price action again, same picture, a little concerning on the daily, uh, on the uh, four indecision bars, so pretty much this week an indecision week. We do have the bigger picture on the weekly up in the green, and there it is, uh, four hour chart, same picture masking that uh, daily uh, picture as well. All right, taking a look ahead as uh, the market in the industrials, taking a look at the index here, price action holding to the upside, but pulling back on the four hour. So again, we'll look to the 50 first and then the T350 as the daily uh, also pulling back and price action on the weekly uh, still in a very strong uptrend. So again, you could have a very strong uptrend. You'll want to look for the pullbacks. If the market is to follow through and back to the upside, we'll see those trend candles pushing back upside. Again, you can see the two red here on the T3 moving averages indicating the pullback at this point. Take a look at the... Um, Transports right now, as transports pulled back a little bit last week, price action, we had uh, Southwest Airlines uh, news out on American United, United looking good. Um, price action again, pulling back here, a daily uh, price action, uh, still a little bit in the red, but about to cross over 50, still below the 144. Pull back here as we have two in the red T3 moving averages, but still everything in the green. So transports uh, still see confidence in the uptrend. Taking a look at materials, again, materials still the upside. Weekly, uh, just about to, uh, to perhaps break back to the upside. Again, weekly and daily, but a little bit of a pullback on the uh, XLB here on the four-hour chart. So a little bit of a concern there. Taking a look at the XLE on the energy. Energy coming down here, bigger picture. Again, breaking upside above the 50, but uh, and still, still in a downtrend on the weekly. So as long as we can hold to this 144 on the uh, four-hour chart, as well as the daily, uh, we can see this trend hold to the upside. Again, we'll want to watch in the week to come. Again, we'll review that next week and see where we are. Take a look at the financials strong this week. Is price action holding up? in the green in the green after some weeks down in the red holding above now above the 50 and the 144 and t350 so financials looking good in the uptrend take a look at the tech industry tech industry very strong uh masking that nq as well uh, not masking but in sync with that uh nq as well this week triple q etf Price action holding upside above the 50 after some support there. Daily just all upside and rip, rip. There it was to the upside. Nice move if you're uh, trading either the futures or in the tech industry ETFs. Taking a look here at uh, consumer staples. Again, price action now finding that support there uh, at the T3 moving averages and the 50 price action holding upside on the daily and the weekly as well. 
Taking here, uh, take a look at utilities. Utilities, again, nice move. Upside has been in a very strong uh, trend since about February. Again, weekly has been holding. Daily has been holding above the 50, which gave us a pullback opportunity right here as it broke back upside above the T350. Uh, T3 moving averages uh, need to get above that uh, T uh, 50 EMA as well, but uh, looking very good on the... Uh, uh, on the four hour chart to maintain the trend to the upside. And wrapping up with the healthcare, healthcare right now, nice price action upside, bigger picture, all in the green, daily upside as well, and four hour chart. Give me an opportunity again as we reach highs. We always want to look for small intraday pullbacks or perhaps just a small pullback as we see here on the four hour chart let me go ahead and highlight that so you can see that a little bit clear there you go that's the kind of pullback you're looking for and then trend you have it on the bigger picture so you're looking to splice in on the four hour chart or you perhaps look at a 50 tick chart or a 100 tick chart all right that's currently where we are in our trends again you see the big picture there for the most part is in the green again you want to make sure uh, you check out my uh, trading uh, futures ETF and market cap leaders here uh, where I go ahead and take many of these charts that you just saw, including all the market cap leaders as well as the FX pairs and uh, the um, ETF futures. Take a look at the chart where we are currently in trend. It does no, in no way indicate where price action is headed this week. You got to be ready on an intraday for that. But again, we review those uh, during the week, market cap leaders Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Take a look at the FX pairs on Thursday and ETF futures on Tuesday, as well as any earnings that come out. Take a look at the economic calendar for the week. We're looking at FOMC minutes uh, or FOMC meetings starting on Tuesday, where the OMC meeting announcement comes out on Wednesday. Again, we had uh, number uh, the. Uh, the numbers out from uh, from the European um, central banks uh, leaving things as is. Uh, as far as monetary policy, don't expect much, much of a change here in the U.S. Uh, really what's moving this market right now, we got end of the month coming out. We got GDP the end of the week, a couple of Red Star events, and then taking a look at the uh, earnings. Earnings really driving this market this week. There's some of the bigger pictures you can see here out by Earnings Whisper. But as we uh, finish up the first week here, taking a look at the data here, dashboard from Reuters. Thomas Reuters, here we are at 68% meeting uh, analyst expectations. Again, you can match those charts with the... Uh, uh, with the industries here and then uh, putting the whole picture together there we are with uh, the uh, estimates of second quarter earnings to decline from last year 125 companies so far uh, with 68 that's better than 50 percent so not totally here in the negative and uh, during the week of uh, July 25th here we have uh, a lot more S&P 5 companies expected to report we have apple coming out let's check the calendar here i got apple on tuesday amazon on thursday facebook on wednesday and alphabet goog on thursday so big week on earnings big week all around and that is about to where we stand so make sure you go ahead and check out the uh weekly recap our daily uh, trend recaps where i go ahead and uh, give you the daily stats any charts that stood out make sure you check out uh, at the end of the week the recap and then uh, for that free newsletter there uh, including my insight into the market right now futures etf and market cap leaders all right uh guys that concludes the uh, current trend and weekly outlook Feel free to stop by tradingfins.com or any of my social media outlets to obtain more information. My trading mantra through the week is one simple strategy. Any market, any chart, any time frame it will keep you disciplined. There's the key word. Uh, you can find me every day on Twitter. Check out my blog, Trading Fibs. And as always, I really do leave the crystal ball to the experts. I have no idea where the market is headed this week. All I could do is tell you uh, that 50% will get it right, 50% will get it wrong. Those who get it right, will uh, uh, you'll see them on, uh, waving their flags, and the rest will get under a rock and uh, won't tell you what happened. Um, call it as it is. Trade the charts in front of you. Leave your buys at the door when trading. We are in the green. Markets are in the green. Um, uh, there is no doomsday, 
but uh, I do believe at some point, uh, as I show each day the daily gap chart, uh, at some point, uh, daily gaps were going to come down. Let me go ahead and show that to you before we wrap this up. When I'm taking a look uh, at the daily gaps, especially on the futures, take a look right at each end day. I give you my closing charts, where we are as far as trend, and that's what I'm talking about. Let's open that image up for you a little bit clearer. There it is. I'm talking about downside open gaps, regular trading hours, which eventually will get closed out. And so as long as those open gaps exist, the market will pull back. I'll be ready for it. But until then, uh, got to simply just trade the charts in front of you and the current trend. Hey, guys, have yourselves a uh, rest of a Blue Zone weekend. Have a good week. Uh, market set to open up here in about an hour or two hours, and uh, we'll see where we uh, open up on Sunday. And then, uh, obviously, Sunday, no indicator of where market will open up for the week. So we look forward to uh, Monday session. Hey, guys, have a great day, uh, good night, and have a great week, and good trading to you.